Using a small flathead screwdriver, release the ignition coil electrical connector retainer by prying up. Then pull the electrical connector out of the ignition coil as indicated by the green arrow. Do this for all six ignition coils. Next, remove two 10 mm ignition coil fasteners, green arrows. Do this for all six ignition coils. Remove each ignition coil from the cylinder head by pulling straight up. If the coil resists, twist when you're pulling it up to help break it free from the spark plug. The ignition coil rubber boot can become stuck to the spark plug over time. Remove all six coils. Working at the center of the valve cover, remove the 8mm nut and ground strap from the valve cover fastener as indicated by the green arrow. Unplug the ignition coil wiring harness from the valve cover by pulling up and remove it from the engine, green arrow. Once it's unclipped, lay it on the left side of the engine out of the way. Next, pull the oxygen sensor electrical connectors out of the holders and lay aside, as indicated by the green arrows. Then remove the secondary air vacuum hose from the holder and lay it aside. Remove the 15 10 mm valve cover fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Lift the valve cover off the cylinder head. It should not be stuck to the cylinder head. If it is stuck, check that you didn't miss a fastener. Once the valve cover has been removed, check the head bolts. Do this by attempting to torque them to factory spec. The bolts located at the rear of the cylinder head usually fail first. This is a good place to start. I like to start with the bolts between cylinders 5 and 6 as indicated by the green arrows. If you do not find any faulty head bolt threads, you are okay to replace the head gasket. Remember to check the cylinder head and block for warpage if you remove the head to ensure there is a proper sealing and to avoid future problems. If you have removed the head, use a straight edge on the block surface as well as the cylinder head to determine if any deviation caused by overheating is present. Also inspect for any protrusion of the cylinder liners above the surface of the engine block. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.